Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Buckeye Barbecue. Thanks for joining. In our house, we eat a lot of cheese, serve it when we have guests over. Uh, we don't even have to have uh, guests over to uh, break out a block of cheese. Nothing makes cheese better than uh, smoking it. So we're gonna cold smoke some cheese today. It really adds a great flavor profile and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So thanks for tuning in. So I'm gonna be using my Weber smoke fire for this, but I'm really just gonna use it as the vessel. I'm not gonna turn it on or anything. What I'm gonna to use to create the smoke is this smoke tube. I've got it filled with uh, pellets. Um, these happen to be Kingsford competition blend. I found it really doesn't matter what type of pellets you use. So this is what I'm gonna to use today and we're gonna light it. And I just use a butane aim of flame. You could use a torch. You could even use a regular aim of flame. Uh, might take a little longer, but we just wanna get the pellets started. And I've sort of modified my smoke fire. I've taken uh, out the grates and the flavorizer bars that it has and I'm just gonna put this down in the bottom and let it uh, smolder down there. It'll create plenty of smoke, but not a lot of heat, which is what we want. I'm doing this in the morning because it's probably gonna be 80 or so degrees today. And once you start getting up at 75 or above, even if the cheese doesn't melt, you're risking losing a lot of the cheese's oils and it drying out eventually. And we don't want that. So we want it, the ambient temperature within the vessel here to stay pretty cool. It's about 63 degrees out right now. So I think uh, we can get a couple hours of smoking in and get our cheese uh, really with some good flavor, a good flavor profile and have uh, plenty of uh, time of cooler weather. So I'm just going to now blow that out and it will continue to smolder. And I'll drop it down in the cooker. And we'll shut the lid and we'll go get our cheese ready. Okay, so we've got our cheese out and ready to go. I do have it on this rack just to make it easier to take put on and take off the smoker outside. Uh, I've got a big block of Vermont white cheddar that I've split into fourths. I've also got a block of pepper jack, a block of gouda, and a block of mozzarella. Uh, generally, your softer cheeses will take less time. Uh, so these here will take less time than the block of Vermont cheddar, but I usually don't get that scientific about it. Uh, I probably will take them all off at about two hours though the block of cheddar could probably go two and a half to three. So we'll get them out on the smoker. Okay, I've got the cheese on the smoker. Uh, the smoke is, uh, is rolling nicely. I will probably come out after about an hour and turn the rack around and probably turn each block of cheese over just to ensure an even smoking process. Uh, so we're gonna get the lid closed and we'll bring you back in about an hour. One thing I should have also mentioned is I like to use my Weber smoke fire because I can turn on the computer without turning on the actual smoking function and see the, uh, the ambient temperature because I've got a couple of probes in there. And this is definitely a little higher than I would love, but uh, what I can do, and you can see that smoke rolling out of there. I hope you can see that. But what I can do is just burp the lid a time or two. You can see all that smoke and that'll cool it off a little bit and not let it get too high. I'll really start to worry if it gets near 80 degrees, but I don't think we'll get there. So we'll bring you back here and uh, it's been about 15 minutes, so in another 45 minutes or so. Okay, it's been one hour, so we're gonna turn our cheese. We've been hovering right around 75 degrees internal here, or in ambient temperature. So I'm just gonna pull this out, and we're just gonna spin it around. 
and then I'm going to turn over each block of cheese. It's really, uh, you can see the color changing. And you can see the difference between the top and the bottom, and this is why you want to uh, turn your cheese to get that even smoke. At least I hope you can see that on the video. Looks like we had a piece break off here. So we're gonna leave this going uh, about another hour and then we will pull it off. So I'll bring you back. Okay, we've been right at two hours now. You will see when I open this up, a foil pan it started getting a little warmer in there than I wanted so I added some ice that's something you could do if uh, it was uh, getting too warm again when I start getting near 80 degrees it's a little warmer than I want it so I did add some ice so we're gonna pull these off um, I hope the video shows some of the color that we've uh, gotten on this cheese it looks really nice uh, if you're doing this for the first time, I would recommend about two hours. Um, if you want to add some more smoke flavor, uh, then you can go longer than that. Uh, but I would start at two hours, see how you like it, and then the next batch you can adjust that. And also the harder cheeses uh, will take a little longer to impart the same amount of smoke that a softer cheese would take. So we're going to get these inside and let them start cooling off. And probably in the next 30 minutes, uh, we will cut a slice. All right, welcome back. We brought our cheese in after two hours on the smoker. Uh, just to recap, we've got uh, mozzarella, pepper jack, gouda, and then a big block of Vermont cheddar that I divided up into uh, four pieces. Uh, I am going to vacuum seal these and keep them uh, in uh, the refrigerator for five to seven days before actually opening them up to eat them. But I am going to go ahead and do a, uh, a slice of one of these here and try it. So I hope you can uh, see the color difference on the outside. After about a week, uh, the smoke will get a little more mild, but will also penetrate um, deeper into the cheese so the whole thing will be smoky um, so I think this turned out really good and I'm definitely looking forward to trying it okay so we're going to try a little bit of this cut a little piece of this slice really good still a little soft from being outside so the uh, week in the refrigerator will take care of that the flavor is outstanding. Great smoke flavor. Um, I recommend you do this for sure. Uh, so if you like smoked cheese, it's really easy to do yourself. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like uh, this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. I have a feeling Daisy likes smoked cheese too, so we may as well give her a taste. You want a, you want a little bite? How was that? You approve? I think she does.